Hey, what's up viewers and fans of my voice? Today we're going to be continuing along on this web element day, and this is day three, and we are going to be creating the Google Plus icon. So I'm going to leave this here, just on the side so we can get an idea. We're not going to trace it or anything, we're going to, um, we're going to be smart and just do it on our own. Now the font that Google uses costs about $300, and I'm too cheap to do that, so we're going to use a font that looks somewhat like that, close enough. So, um, yeah, you guys aren't worth that kind of money, so, yeah. Anyhow, let's create a new layer. We're going to grab the rounded rectangle tool, and let's try four pixels and see what that looks like. Um, way too small. Let's try eight, and that looks better. And this might vary depending on what size you're going to make the icon. I want to make it fairly large so it's easy for you to see, and then later I guess we can scale it down if you really wanted to but uh, I, you don't want me working on something this tiny. Uh, I'll make it like this. That's good enough. And we'll go with a background color of a dark gray. Later we, we will add the gradient that the Google Plus icon, uh, icon has. So we're just going to leave it gray for now. <clears throat> so the way I like to work with vectors is I'm going to duplicate this layer and then go to create clipping mask and this one will be the actual color above this background layer. So that probably didn't make sense yet, unless you see my other tutorials. Let's create a new layer, and we're going to grab the uh, rectangle tool, and we're going to click and drag out for this top section right here. And then we're going to right click and go to create clip mask, and you can see it trimmed it around there. Very good, very good. Um, now, what we want to do, this could be a little confusing, is we want to create those color stripes inside of there. So to do that, we're going to zoom in and we need to choose what one color this background is going to be so we're going to make that the we'll go with the blue so just something like this uh... never mind it's going to click and drag off but we'll make it up that looks good enough nice color blue and then we're going to create a new layer and here's a warning i haven't i haven't practiced this making this icon yet so there might be some mistakes um, that's my excuse for now so let's just let's just do it i'm going to zoom out and let's do this. Let's measure it. So I'm going to do Shift F4, and I'm going to click here at the edge, drag out to the side. I can see that the width is 166. And let's see, one, two, three, four. So what you want to do is just grab a calculator and do 166 divided by four is 41.5. So let's create a new layer and we're going to do width of 41 height of it doesn't matter we'll just do 41 as well to click and drag that out and then we're going to duplicate this two three four select all those and then align by the center we got a little gap going on but we won't we, will, bleh, we won't worry about that so here we have our basic sizes for what we need. I'm going to click on this first one and then drag out a ruler just to see that. And then we're going to hide it and then drag out a shape. Like this. And then let's size it a little bit better. Looks good. Right click it, create clipping mask so it rounds it off. And we're going to make this one red. very nice and then I'm going to duplicate it by holding down alt and shift and then duplicate it again because we're going to be deleting that one delete this and we're going to make this one green good enough duplicate it again bring it to the side and we'll make this one yellow beautiful okay so now, as you can see what we have, the whole top section is finished. Um, I want to add a little bit of depth, so I'm going to add a lighter stroke below all this. So um, I'm going to create a new layer right here, and zoom in, and then grab your line tool, hold down shift and drag out. I'm going to change that to like a light gray, 
we'll mess with it. Let's just line it up. Zoom out and see what this looks like so far. And that's too bright, so I'm going to turn down that opacity way down. That's probably good enough for now. It might be too bright, but we'll mess with it later. <clears throat> so now let's um, let's add a little bit of depth depth to this. And what I think we can do is double click here, go to a stroke, add a one pixel stroke, and we'll make it a dark gray, something like this. And let's try bevel and emboss. I'm going to bring down the opacity on the bottom shadow, <clears throat> and then for the size, we're going to bring this down to I don't know, maybe one. Hmm. I kind of want that to be larger. Let's see. I guess we're going to have to do it on our own. So what I'm going to do actually is double click, put that stroke back on it, one pixel, and then I'm going to duplicate this top layer here, bring it to the top, and I'm going to, let's change the color to like a white or something. Let's bring it all the way to the top. Hold on shift and just click down one and it'll be just like that. And I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. What I kind of want is the reverse of this. So then what I'm going to do actually is let's try grabbing the pen, the direct selection tool. Grab those, hold on shift and drag up. There we go. So we have the reverse of it. And we can just pretty much delete those two points. Or let's actually subtract it just to clean up these lines a little bit and then go to the convert point tool and there we go <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I'm trying to give this a little bit of depth so I can bring these up maybe just a little bit and we'll actually make it white and then just turn down that opacity way down so now if we zoom out you can kind of see there's some depth to that so maybe we can even drag it up a little bit more something like that looking good and then what I want to do is add a <clears throat> a gradient to this bottom layer right here this is that bottom blue layer and let's see it's probably not gonna work out but um, let's see what happens when we add a gradient to that I guess we'll have to do it individually <clears throat> let's add a gradient and then we'll change this to overlay bring down that opacity to 60 good duplicate it on and there we go and that adds some nice uh, three dimension to that so now let's add a gradient to this background layer just like this go to overlay and we'll turn on that opacity and bring up the scaling good and what I actually want to do is let's try seeing if we put this highlight um, this one right here if we try putting that onto that white or onto the color. So let's click and drag it up. Let's make it white. And if we zoom in, we can kind of see that we've got some feathering issues going on, I think. Yeah, uh, the top of this is just a little off, so it's making the stroke look a little bit too large. So I'm going to click it, zoom in. Uh, let's actually click it with the path selection tool and just bring it down and that's going to make the edges a little bit sharper and cleaner looking there you go as you can see that looks much better okay so now let's uh... now we got the basic shape it's good enough for now well we're going to add a the letter g to this so go to your text tool and click and drag out here and do the letter g lowercase and it's not showing up oh because my font size is way too large and I'm going to be using Georgia because I found that to be pretty close. And I'm going to make it white. Good. And then click again. And we're going to do the plus sign. And this one we're going to bring that to uh, bring that size way down. Looking good. Let's line that up just so it looks nice and acceptable. And then we're going to center it. And uh, one last thing I want to try doing is this gloss layer on top. Let's try adding a um, go to drop shadow and then distance of one, change this to normal, make that white, and bring up the opacity, and then bring down the size. 
and then go over to blending options and bring the opacity all the way up but bring down the fill so then what that does is makes the fill lighter but it makes that drop shadow 100 percent so we're going to bring that fill down to let's try 45 and then the drop shadow will bring that opacity down just so it's a little bit crisper on the edge that was a free tip for you I wasn't planning on doing that but um, you know what I can't keep all the secrets to myself okay click alright and you know that's looking very nice I think I'm gonna end it with that let's clean up this a little bit let's delete these layers that we don't need delete that and let's name this background and then group all this together and we'll name this Google Plus icon good alright so that's gonna finish off this tutorial be sure to tune in tomorrow for the fourth day of this series uh, it's coming to a close very soon so hopefully you've learned something and had some fun if, you've had, if you have any requests or questions be sure to leave it in a comment below or PM or Twitter or Facebook we're on everything so you can find us fairly easily so thanks for watching and see you next time